So last time we made a video about this guy, we said in the video that it would probably be the last time we had talked about him. And shortly after that video was uploaded, I realized to myself, wait a minute, this guy just got traded onto a new team. There's probably going to be some sort of an update that we are allowed to give sometime in the next few days, few weeks, and it's probably going to bring itself up again as a topic, right? And so I'm going back on my word when it comes to the Red Wings and St. Louis Blues Jakob Vrana trade. And we're talking about Vrana here today because of a very, very good update that we have received. Now, when it comes to Vrana, everybody kind of knows the story. He was the main piece in the return for the Anthony Mantha trade. He was with Detroit. And admittedly, if you look at only the isolated Detroit Red Wings numbers, Vrana was really good with the organization. Seriously, every individual stint that he had with the Red Wings in particular was filled with point production, goals, and everything you would expect out of a guy like Vrana. The problem came with his consistency and his availability in the lineup. He was injured a lot, and during this season's worth of play, he spent a boatload of time with the NHL's player assistance program before returning and getting waived and getting cleared and all this stuff. It was a very strange sort of process with Vrana and the Wings. Now, to Vrana's credit, he himself said he didn't really know what was going on, why the Wings were so fickle with their plan with him and how he wasn't really being given the chance to succeed in Detroit after words, and Steve Eiserman said that he wishes the best for Verona upon the trade over to St. Louis, but we have ourselves an update here on St. Louis Blues Dispatch. New Blue, Jakob Verona relishes fresh start after a tough go in Detroit. This was from a few days ago on March 6th, but it does go over the entire situation, what Verona's philosophy is, how he's approaching the situation, and it's overall just a very good read. For a guy who had spent so much time in the player's assistance program, obviously we all hope that whatever it was that he was dealing with in that situation has been resolved, but based off of how he's talking in this article, there's a lot of reason to believe that things are looking up for Jakob Vrana. And it actually has translated onto the ice as well, seeing as yesterday he scored his first goal as a member of the Blues, he potted in a rebound on the side and was able to squeak it by. He's got one goal, zero assists in two games played with St. Louis. But I will leave a link in the description to this article on stltoday.com going over Vrana and his entire situation here. The article opens up talking about how Vrana's first night as a blue was spent rather ingloriously sleeping at his gate at Detroit Metropolitan Airport. Vrana reports that he slept surprisingly well. The veteran Ford was dealt to St. Louis on Friday morning several hours before the deadline, but he got snowed in that night in Detroit. Nobody could do anything about it, Vrana said. Just bad weather. All flights were cancelled. There was like one hotel, but it was full, so I just stayed at the airport, and flew the first possible flight to LA. Unfortunately, he did not arrive on time, so he wasn't able to play against the LA Kings on Saturday, but he said, I'm just finally happy I got here and my bags are here, so it's good. Craig Berube said, we'll get a good skate in Tuesday and work on some power play and things like that, but you could sure see Vrana's skill and his smoothness, passing and things like that. It stands out. They talk about how Vrana was probably going to play with Brandon Shen and Kasperi Kapanen. Kasperi, he's got some wheels, Vrana said. He's a fast forward. Me too. As for Shen, you guys know what kind of player he is. He's a real solid two-way centerman. I think we can create some offense. We can be good both ways. And I'm really looking forward to playing with those guys. And it's really funny how the article here calls this line the second chance line because Vrana and Kapanen both were placed on waivers, something that doesn't happen all that often for 20 goal scorers in the NHL. Things were not going well in Detroit, Vrana said, so I got a call Friday morning that I'm coming here, and I was really happy about that. I look at it as a new opportunity, and so far I've been here, everybody's been great. All the guys have been really nice to me, and I'm looking forward to going to the games and battling with them and do some things. And this is where the meat and potatoes of the article really comes in, because they start talking about Vrana and his history with the injuries, as well as his time on the Players Assistance Program. After missing most of the 21-22 season because of a shoulder injury that required surgery, Vrana entered the player assistance program at the start of this season. The program exists to help players and their families when a player is going through mental health, substance abuse, or similar issues. Now, I'm not going to go out there and say that Vrana himself was dealing with anything in particular within that realm, but that's just kind of the outline as to what the player's assistance program does. Vrana returned to the active roster in mid-December, and he didn't get a game in with the Red Wings before being placed on waivers. 
To be honest with you, I came back from the player's assistance program and conditioning wise, I was ready. I did some testing and I had better numbers than I had at training camp. I was ready to play. Unfortunately, I'm just a player and I don't make the decisions on who's going to play and who's not. So the decision was to send me down, put me on waivers, and I accepted. There's no other way, right? I can't tell you I was happy about it. I accepted it because that's just how it is. Sometimes you're going to accept things even though you don't like them. But yeah, I didn't agree with how the Red Wings treated me and how it went. He then spent some time in the AHL with the Grand Rapids Griffins and all that. I was just trying to get better, grind my way back to the NHL, he said. Fortunately, I got a chance again in Detroit. It was nice to play there in the NHL again, but yeah, I just felt like the relationship, it wasn't there anymore. And that is really telling as to how everything sort of went down, because I feel like a lot of Red Wings fans, myself included, they would probably say the same thing about this entire process, right? Like, okay, we don't know why he's getting sent down. We don't know why he's spending so much time in the AHL. We don't know why the team just refuses to use him in a prominent role in the NHL because we know he's talented enough to do that. We don't know any of these things, but we just got to go out there and accept it because Stevie Wise got the Iser plan and it would be foolish to go out there and try to doubt it. But it would be kind of facetious to say that this Vrana situation, after he got sent down, he cleared, he played limited minutes in Detroit after being called back up, it would have been sort of foolish to say that this was repairable and that we had a chance to see Vrana become that 25-30 goal scorer with the Red Wings every year like we thought we would be able to when he was acquired for Anthony Manta. And so the trade to St. Louis, albeit for a very small return, was not too surprising. And now, Vrana talks about himself. He gives his own scouting report to the St. Louis media. I'm a good skater. I bring a little speed and just creating plays and trying to attack the net. And overall, just be solid both ways. Just bring some energy out there and just help the team. And so, again, I'll leave a link in the description to this article if you want to go ahead and read it yourself. There's a little bit more in here from Craig Berube and some more quotes from Vrana about his history in St. Louis, etc., etc. So there's the link in the description if you want to read it. But I just thought I'd make this video to go over the update because he did score his first goal yesterday. So it's good to see that. And overall, when it comes to Vrana and his situation... It's been so strange the past few years that you gotta hope that this is going to be home, right? Tarasenko is gone, Ryan O'Reilly is gone, there's some new opportunities for guys here on the St. Louis Blues to show off their worth, and for Jesperi Cap- or not Jesperi Kapanen, excuse me, Kasperi Kapanen, as well as Jakob Vrana, there are two guys right there that could benefit from the sort of revival type of treatment, like a guy like Pavel Buchnevich had, for example. That guy sort of revived his career in St. Louis, and it's been pretty good to see. Sure, it's interesting how he got traded for the guy that's also his teammate now in Sammy Blay, but either way, St. Louis has an opportunity here to use on some of these other guys like Vrana and Kappen and guys who were sort of given up on by their prior teams. So, Hopefully that continues. Hopefully Vrana finds himself some continued NHL success. But if you're a St. Louis Blues fan, and why don't you let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on Vrana and how he's played so far? Are you a fan of his overall style? Do you think that he's got some pretty good 20-30 goal potential? Or do you see maybe a little bit more than that? Do you kind of question why the Red Wings gave up on this guy in the first place, considering how he's played? What are your thoughts on how he's performed so far for your team? And if you're a Red Wings fan, what are your thoughts on his... Let's just say mini revival at this stage of his career. He's still got a lot of time to really put things together. I mean, he was only drafted in 2014, so he's still, what is that, 27 years old? Lots of time here. But the comment section is your floor. Let's get some conversation going on about Jakob Vrana and this entire process. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.